नमस्ते वेलकम टू आवर प्रोग्राम इनर पीस टू ग्लोबल पीस ट्वेंटी वन डेज ब्यूटिफुल जर्नी ब्लिसफुल जर्नी एंड मेडिटेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आई एम ऑनर्ड दैट वी कुड लर्न टू गैदर मेनी टूल्स to develop and cultivate inner peace within ourselves and today is day 20 we have learned many many tools as i said but today the what we are going to discuss i think that is the highlight and that is the simplest way to cultivate peace within ourselves and that is peace through power of gratitude and we will be discussing what is gratitude what does it mean thank you very much for sending all the love and hearts and please share with your friends invite them for this beautiful session where we can all cultivate together the peace and make this whole world peaceful place to live for us for our families for our children and for generation to come and everyone's contribution for cultivating the peace energy equals to more than million persons so don't think that you are just creating the energy for yourself i'm sure you are feeling it by now because it's a day 20 so let's all share this beautiful energy together but today we are going to learn what does gratitude really means how should we express it and is that the only way just say thank you or is there any other way to express it why why should we express appreciate ourselves and others and then how to develop it and then of course we will have the tip of the day meditation and write down your questions so are you ready to start now thank you thank you very much for joining so gratitude we all know what gratitude means just to appreciate say thank you but how to appreciate it has to be not just a word, lip talk it must be coming from our heart and we should live with it as J- john f kennedy said as we express our gratitude we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words but to live by them so we have to live by whatever we express and we should also say thank you to ourselves thank you to almighty thank you to anyone who comes in our life but how should we express it just by saying thank you or is there any other way and yes when we smile this is my way of saying thank you to all of you when we do namaste this is our way of saying thank you to you 
when I say welcome, it is my way of saying thank you to you. So today is a day of thank you. And I want to express my heartiest thank you, gratitude to you for joining me. But we should also learn to respect each other. When, when we respect others, when we listen to others without interrupting, when we hear them for understanding, that is also a way of expressing thank you. When I am fearless, I am expressing myself, thank you. So why to motivate others? Why to say appreciation? A study shows that when we appreciate others, they do more work. In fact, there is a beautiful quote here which says that a person who feels appreciated will always do more than what is expected. So they get inspired. They feel respected. And when we, they feel beautiful within themselves and when we appreciate and thank you ourselves, we feel connected to supreme power with ourself and we feel we are worth. Our self-esteem goes up and when our self-esteem is up, I'm not talking about our ego because sometimes if we say too much thank you to other people, where it is not applicable, then it might raise other people's ego, false pride. So we have to be also careful when not to say thank you. But we must continue to say thank you because by thanking other people, it gives us the peace within ourselves. We feel good. We feel satisfied that we have done something. And the study shows that people who appreciate others, who respect others, who have a higher, they, those people have a higher self-esteem for themselves because the only people who could thank others and appreciate others when they have a higher self-esteem. Otherwise, they might think that why should I thank you this person, this person, it was his job, he should be doing it anyhow. And many times, many employers and many supervisors and managers do that. That more we say thank you, the more they do not perform their job next time they will not because they, they are already on top of the world and they do not expect the raises from us because we say thank you. But at the same time, just saying the thank you, it feels good appreciate others. But then the question comes, how can we develop that habit? Because there are so many medical benefits to it. When we feel good, we feel relaxed. When we are relaxed, it means we are not stressful. When we are not stressful, we are happy. And the study shows those people are more healthier. They sleep better at night. There are more than thousand studies on this in all the Ivy universities, you name it, Stanford University, Columbia University, Harvard University, and especially the medical research. Medical departments start doing the research on gratitude. But how to develop the gratitude? And I want to share you a beautiful story, which is my own story. When I came to this country, USA, 48 years ago, I went to college. And when I was in college, 
I just did routine things. But I noticed that when I spoke to people, then there was not a very positive reaction at the end of our conversation. And it bothered me. And I didn't know what I was doing wrong because I just came from India. And in India, the culture is that we do not say thank you, at least at that time. Because when we say thank you to others, it means we nullified their whatever they have done for us by just saying thank you. And they will tell you at the end, why are you telling me thank you? I'm your family member. I'm your friend. And by saying thank you, you are creating the distance between us and you means you do not consider me your friend, you do not consider me your family member. So we were not trained. In fact, culturally, saying thank you was not considered to be a good thing. So when I came to this country, I never said thank you to anybody, but I could feel the reaction on their face after my conversation and after we did certain things together. And finally, I ask them, tell me, please, what am I not doing right that I'm causing some kind of a stress or some kind of a unhappiness? And finally, I'm so thankful to them that they told me that if I could say thank you more or if I could appreciate people, and if I could say thank you to them, that will help. So now, the other challenge for me was how to develop that habit of saying thank you. Because it's not that once we make that our decision and our habit changes, it needs the self-transformation because the subconscious mind has the old data, which, was, which I had it, that do not say thank you. Now I have to replace it with say thank you verbally. Even though by heart I was doing it, but it was not enough. So now I have to change my habits. And thank you for sending your hearts. So now I have to retrain my mind. Get old, rid of my old dogma of saying no thank you to thank you. So here that my self-awareness came. So I start reprogramming my mind and start living in the consciousness of saying thank you. But I also did, I wrote a note on the piece of paper, say thank you. So I had it in the pocket of my white coat because I'm a scientist and I was in the lab working in the lab. So I always put that note in my pocket of my white coat, in the lab coat. And every time I went to restroom, I, every time I picked a pen from my pocket, whatever, I had that note in front of me to say thank you, to remind me. So I would make a commitment to myself in the morning before leaving home and actually pray to God that please help me to develop this habit of saying thank you. And then for a whole day, I will be living in the consciousness of thank you. And I would be saying thank you at every moment I could remember. But when I came home, I sat down and evaluated it. And I still noticed that. I was going to say thank you that many times, but how many times I missed it today? And instead of pound, condescending myself and saying, oh, oh, I'm bad, I didn't do this, I, didn't, I did not do any of criticism to myself. I pounded myself and I said, good, you did it four times today. Tomorrow, do it more. And then I closed my eyes 
and I kind of meditated on it. And then in the morning, I repeated that same thing, sat down quietly before going to bed, before getting up from the bed, I would say thank you, pray to God for helping me to develop this new habit. Then during the day, I would say thank you. And then at night before going to bed, again I will sit down and I will say thank you God for helping me to develop this new habit because every day I was improving. Like first day I did it four times, following day I did it six times, ten times. And this is, and that become my habit of saying thank you every time it was needed. So finally, it took me 21 days to develop that habit. That's why we have this program 21 days because the study shows it takes 21 days to develop any new habit, but you must live in the consciousness of developing that habit. And I hope that help. My example help. So now, what, I, what are you thankful for? Or what am I thankful for? Make a list. Be aware of it. That what are we thankful for? Are we thankful for this beautiful body, beautiful eyes, beautiful mouth, beautiful wisdom, and beautiful getting together. Look at, we are together here. And cultivating this inner peace to global peace with this beautiful, blissful journey together. So are we ready to sit down and meditate? and develop more appreciation and also thank for all the things God has given us. And there is a beautiful prayer here which I like to share with you. And before we go for a meditation, it says, for our life and family, for each new morning, for rest, and shelter of the night. Thank you. Thank you for health and food and all the good friends. And thank you for the freedom to enjoy it all. You know how many people in the world feel confined in some situations or on the hospital beds or they are kidnapped or they do not have a freedom of speech, freedom of going around. So freedom of to enjoy. So grateful. And all the blessings for everything that God has given us. Thank you for generosity, God. This is the line I have added here. Thank you. Thank you. So let's all sit down together. And the mantra for today is thank you. Very simple mantra. Thank you. So let's all sit down together. And I say it together. It does, I know we are far from each other, but we are very close. Look at it. We are right here. So let's all sit down wherever you are, very comfortably. Close your eyes very gently. And take a deep breath. All the way down to your stomach. Inhale, hold it for a few seconds, 
exhale. Inhale. Hold it. And exhale. Inhale. Hold it. And exhale. And now breathe normally. And with every breath, say smile. Smile in, smile out. Smile in, smile out. You could say it loudly or you could say it silently. And make sure you smile. 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 Continue to breathe normally. And now with every smile, with every breath, say relax. So make sure when you breathe, you smile and say relax. 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 Make sure your body, your hips, your back, neck, head are all aligned and now with every breath say thank you Thank you in, thank you out. Thank you. Thank you. You can say it loudly or you could say it silently. Thank you. Continue to smile and with every smile and every breath say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And feel that every cell of our body, every DNA of the body, every nucleotide of the body, every atom, electron, proton, empty spaces, are enriched with the powerful energy of a smile, happiness, relaxation, and gratitude. And now repeat with me I am grateful for this beautiful opportunity of doing peaceful meditation 
cultivating peace within myself i am thankful for almighty for giving me beautiful body healthy body for giving me wisdom i am thankful for my eyes i am thankful for my ears where i could hear i could see i could hear i'm thankful for my nostrils where i can breathe myself i'm thankful for my mouth i could speak i am thankful for my hands which help me to do my daily work i'm help thankful for my heart my cardiovascular system my respiratory system my lungs who could breathe my heart who could purify the blood in my body and circulate in the entire body i am thankful for my digestive system for my stomach for my intestine for my liver gall bladder if you have one for my renal system i'm thankful to my kidneys my bladder my colon i'm thankful to my thighs my hips my knees i'm thankful to my legs feet entire body i'm thankful to almighty for giving me healthy body and i'm thankful to each part of my body feel that every part of our body every part of every organ of our body every cell of the body is dancing with the gratitude energy i am thankful to my shelter my beautiful home for my profession whatever i do it could be job outside or it could be inside of the home whatever i do i am thankful to almighty for helping me to meet our daily needs i'm thankful to my employer and my co-workers
my entire body is enriched with gratitude attitude and now that gratitude energy the anandamayi shakti the healing power which has been created by expressing gratitude is expanding through my entire home to my every member of the family my partner my spouse i am thankful to all the things my partner does with me companion of my spouse i'm thankful for my siblings who have helped me to grow older more mature with more love and compassion and all the disagreements which i learned from it and made me more wiser i am thankful to my parents who have raised me with best of their ability and best of their capabilities i am thankful to my employer i am thankful to all the calamities happened to me in my life which taught me many lessons i am thankful to all the physical difficulties i had which helped me to take care of my body my mind made me more aware of my body and mind and appreciation for good health i am thankful for all the difficulties i had in my life which helped me to raise my conscious level by learning from it I'm thankful for the whole cosmos the whole world which taught me lessons and also for this opportunity to spending time with all of you and we are all learning together how to cultivate peace within ourselves how to manifest the pure peace happiness blissful feeling blissful energy and giving me an opportunity to share with the world thank you thank you thank you and now bring the energy back 
into your body. And centralize. And say thank you to all the living beings and non-living beings in the world. Thank you to all the rivers. Oceans, mountains, air, which we breathe every day, space, sun, which gives us the light, moon, Mother Earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for joining today. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace for my body, peace for my mind, and peace for the universe. Peace, peace, peace. And now, Rub your hands and put it on your head, on your face. Just massage the whole body. Just tap it all over your body. And continue to do that when you are wherever you are. And put it on the place in your body which needs more attention. Or you can just send the energy to others because you are the pure conscious right now. You are the pure energy. Your energy has a power to heal millions in this universe. A study shows that the energy which we create with this powerful meditation and we create the peace, anandam, within ourself. It influences more than million people in the universe. And then they do the same thing. And then the whole universe becomes the peaceful place. This is how inner peace helps to create the global peace. So now make a cup with your hands, put it on your eyes and open your eyes very gently and thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the gratitude meditation. And the tip for the today is Live, start your day with thank you. Spend your day with thank you. And end your day with thank you. So in other words, when you get up in the morning, say thank you. During the day, say thank you to others. In the morning, we say thank you to God for waking us up. And in the during the day, we say we share our thank you with our whoever comes in our life. And at the night, before going to bed, again we say thank you Almighty for giving us a beautiful day. Certain days might not be as we like, but still there are lessons to learn from those days. So thank you for every day before going to bed. And also, if you forgot, to say thank you to somebody during the day, just send them your thank you. So the mantra is, as I said, is thank you. Tip of the day is live in consciousness of thank you. And tomorrow we will come here 
I will post that timing because I have three programs tomorrow, so I am trying to schedule it. So I will post it on Facebook, and at the same time, we will be sharing a beautiful tip tomorrow, which will be the highlight of all the 21 days. So please make sure to come and share with your friends because this is the replay is available on Facebook and also we are posting it on YouTube every day. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done it yet. And also subscribe to our subscription on our path to anandam.org where we you can get the daily planner you can download it and you can just practice it like 21 days 30 days i have the daily planners over there th for 30 days so you can download it and you can go to amazon.com to get my ebooks as well as hard copies and all the proceeds all the best sellers of, of the 15 books pro and all the proceeds go from go to support the children and we have about 1100 children in area of Hyderabad uh, we support those children uh, we have sponsored many schools so we so anything comes to our um, with my workshops, with my uh, speaking engagements, my books, donations, everything. We don't take any salaries. Our volunteers don't take any salaries. We just 100% give our donations to support the children and needy and homeless people, etc. So this is what Path to Anandam does and this is what I do and our team does. And thank you very much for joining. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you and thank you and God bless you all.